Hello everybody, it's Amel, and today I'm going to show you how to solve the implement str str problem. So it says, implement str str, return the index of the first occurrence of Nero in haystack, or negative one if Nero is not part of haystack. So this problem is asking you to find a substring in a string. So Nero is the substring and haystack is the string. So example one, haystack equals hello and needle equals ll. So the method returns two because ll starts at index two in hello. So zero, one, and two. Example two, haystack is aaaaa and needle is bba. So, because needle is not in haystack, the method returns negative one. It also has more clarification. Why should we return when needle is an empty string? This is a great question to ask during an interview. For the purpose of this problem, we will return zero when needle is an empty string. This is consistent to sys str str in Java's index of. All right, so how can we solve this problem? There are several ways to solve this problem, but the best way to solve this problem in an interview is to use the regular method for string search. Um, there are very complicated algorithms that are very sophisticated, and for an interview, those algorithms like the knuth morris Pratt algorithm are not suitable because they are kind of complex. So we're going to use the regular way to solve this problem. And the way is that we have to have uh, two pointers. We can say i and j. And every time we iterate through the haystack, we start looking for the needle as starting at that position in the haystack. So we start, i is going to be the position in the haystack, and we start looking for needle position i. If we don't find it, then we go i equals 1, the second character, and we start looking for the needle at that position. Okay, if we don't find it, we go to the next character, i equals 2, at position 2, and we start looking for needle. If we find the needle, then we return the starting index, which is 2. So this is the main idea. Using the two-pointer technique, we're going to go through the haystack looking for the needle, and if we find a mismatch, then we know it is not there, so we have to move to the next position looking for the needle. So without further ado, I'm going to show you how to write the code. First, we're going to check. We're going to say if needle that is empty, then we return zero. Because if the needle is equal to the empty string, as it says here, we're going to return zero because it's consistent with Java's index of. So then we're going to get the length of the haystack in M, and we're going to let N equals the length of the needle. So we're going to say, integer M gets the value of haystack dot length. Integer N gets the value of needle dot length. Then we're going to check. If the length of the haystack is less than the length of the needle, that means that the needle cannot be in the haystack because the length of the haystack is less than the length of the needle, so we can return negative one to indicate that the needle cannot be in the haystack. It's not in the haystack. Then, I'm gonna say, okay, I wanna have index i to iterate from left to right in the haystack. So I'm gonna say for integer i gets the value of zero i is less than or equal to the length of the haystack minus the length of the needle plus plus i. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna have i from left to right. I'm gonna iterate from left to right in the haystack looking for the needle at every po at every position in the haystack. But I don't have to go all the way to the end in the haystack. The last position where the needle could be is a position m minus n, a position length of the haystack minus length of the needle then any position after that, the needle cannot be there because there's not enough room for the needle to be there. So this is, a, this is a, an optimization that we can make. All right. So for every position i in the haystack, 
we're going to start looking for the needle, starting at that position. So we, we have another variable, or you can say pointer. It's not exactly a pointer, but sometimes we use that interchangeably. So integer j. So we're going to start looking for the needle. For, in, for j gets a value of 0. And j is less than the length of the needle, plus plus j. So as you can see, I have j outside the for loop because I want to have this scope here to check after the for loop. And I want to have j from 0 to the length of the needle minus 1 because now I'm going to go through the needle from left to right and compare the corresponding character in the haystack with the corresponding character in the needle. So I'm going to say if haystack the char at i plus j is not equal to needle the char at j I break so let's say that, that I start at position 0 and I'm looking for the needle in the haystack starting at position 0 and if I find that the corresponding characters don't match if I find a mismatch that means that I wasn't able to find the needle so I break out of the for loop and then after the for loop there are two cases one case is that I found the needle so the for loop uh, broke out so that means that j equals the length of the needle or I didn't find the needle so I check if j equals equals the length of the needle that means that I was able to go through all the, char through all the characters in the needle and I found the needle and so I return the, the starting position where I found it. So I return i. That's that's when where the starting position where I found the needle. And then if I didn't find the needle, I just go to the next position in the haystack. So I go to the next i and I start searching for the needle starting at that position. If I was able to get out of the for loop without returning anything, that means that I wasn't able to find the needle in the entire string, in, this, in the entire haystack. So I return negative 1. So now, without further ado, I'm going to run the code. It seems to be working fine. I'm going to submit the solution. Alright, 3 milliseconds faster than 99.59% of Java Online submissions for STR STR. So, um, please press the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And see you next time.